Hey there, Salt Strong family. This is Pat Ogletree. And in this video, I want to talk to you about how to be able to to go out there and get some fishing and even though the winds are blowing hard. Now, I don't know if you're anything like me, but it seems like this year has been the windiest year that I can remember in a long, long time. And it can be really, really frustrating, but I got three tips for you that will help you still get out on the water and be able to catch some fish. Okay, the first tip that I wanna give you is for the kayakers and the boaters out there. And that is to try and launch and fish on the same side of the waterway that the wind is coming from. That way you can have some wind protection. So if the wind is coming out of the east, pick the east side of the bay or the east side of the river and try to pick some spots on that side so you don't have to cross over that waterway and then have to worry about getting back when the wind is blowing and it's white capping and that could just put you in a really bad situation. So pull out the map, find a spot that is going to be on the wind protected side to launch from and then pick some spots along that same side of the waterway so you can pick and choose uh, your fishing. No different than pre-planning for any other trip. You're just limiting the side of the waterway that you're going to fish. That's better than having to sit on the couch all day. At least you're going to be out on the water. Now tip number two is if the wind is up even higher then it's really you know not even safe to get out there on the water at all. You can actually wade fish and it's amazing at how much wind that you can wade fish in when you have some a little bit of wind protection you've got the wind to your back uh, on a recent trip when i was over in texas in baffin bay i was actually wade fishing when it was you know almost 30 mile an hour winds with higher gusts than that and with the wind to my back it actually gave me advantage of being able to make some really really long casts and cover a lot of ground that i probably normally wouldn't have been able to get to had the wind not been that high i still managed to catch some fish that day even though the conditions uh, for the most part Really, I had the you know I had the whole place to myself. It wasn't favorable for a lot of people, but for wade fishermen, it's a little different story. Especially if you can get there by vehicle and then walk right into the water. Those are great places to look and fish. So the third tip I want to give you is you can always fish from shore, whether it be the actual bank or it could be on a dock, it could be on a pier, it could be on a jetty. These are all opportunities to get out on the water. And again, if you have the wind to the back, wind to your back, you can make some really really long cast and cover a lot of ground and if not you know it's not that hard just to you know throw a line out there and just sit down and and have a good old time at least you have some chances of getting some tight lines now you might not be able to fish the exact spots that you want to fish but a lot of these structures do hold you know fish like mangrove snappers and and uh, sheep's head and you know fish like that so you have the opportunity uh, to have some fun and maybe get some dinner out of it so when it comes to what type of lures to use whenever the wind is up, I like to use a lure that you can just throw out there and do a straight retrieve back in and you don't have to impart a lot of action into it. You know, not many twitches and pauses, just a straight retrieve. And one of the best lures out there is the Johnson Silver Minnow. Now this lure works really, really good in windy conditions because not only can you cast it with the wind and across winds, you can even cast it into the wind because of its small profile. And it is just a great lure when it comes to fishing and wind. Another lure that I like to use whenever the wind is up is going to be our five inch bomber series paddle tail. Uh, this is a great lure to use. One, because it's a, it's a heavier lure, you can cast it much further. And because of its larger size, it's being a five inch profile and it's got that large paddle tail on it. It really puts a lot of, it disperses a lot of water and puts off a lot of vibration. And whenever there's a lot of wind and wave out there, the fish need that. It helps them to hone in and pick up on that lure. Now, usually the slam Shady 2.0 or the, the 2.0 series that we have. Uh, those are great lures whenever it's maybe a little bit choppy out or when it's calm, but whenever it's really rough and, and windy out there, that's when you want to go to a larger profile. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rig this on either the Texas side jig head like I've got right here, and I'm going to up the weight. Like, say, normally in a situation where I'm going to use a belly weighted hook that might be, uh, you know, a eighth or sixteenth ounce, I'm going to throw this on at least a quarter of an ounce on either the Texas side jig head or even the redfish eye jig head. And and the reason why I'm going to throw them on a heavier one, heavier weight is because with the wind, you're going to have a tendency to get more bow in your line and you'll be disconnected from the feel of the lure. With a heavier, larger profile lure and a larger, heavier jig head, you're going to be able to have a straighter line and you're going to have more connection to that lure so you'll be able to feel those bites when they happen. You can set the hook and catch those fish. So the most important thing that you can learn from this video is just be safe when it comes to fishing in high winds. You know, you can't 
can go out there and catch fish in windy conditions, but you want to be safe about it. Try to stay in wind protected areas. Don't cross large bodies of water and just don't put yourself in harm's way. There's always another day to fish. So I hope you learned something from this video that'll help you put some more fish in the boat. And if you have any questions or comments, or even if you'd like to tell me what your favorite lure to throw in windy conditions is, put that all down in the comments below and I'd like to hear from you. As always, I appreciate you watching and I'll see you next time. Have a great day. Bye.